Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? Oh, there you are. I have my big sunbonnet on today. This is Mrs. Inman, and I'm reading to you again from Full of Beans, Chapter 15, Arithmetic. Remember, I left you off last time with Kermit, and he was so sick. So let's find out what happens today. I ended up getting my own room after all. Not because Kermit died, but because he got better. Your son must stay in bed. There should be no physical exertion at all, the doctor told my mother. It could cause heart damage. For how long, my mother asked. Six months at least, he told her. My mouth dropped open. My mother's mouth dropped open. We could have caught a swarm of mosquitoes between us. It turned out I could handle bad babies, but I couldn't handle Kermit. He whined for water. He whined for me to tuck in his blanket. He whined for me to bring him some toast. Could I read him a book? Oh, and on and on. Even Termite kept his distance from Kermit. I think my little brother was driving my dog nuts too. That's when my mother decided to give Kermit Buddy's bedroom. We moved the crib into my parents' room. Not to mention, I changed my mind about what I would buy from the Sears Roebuck catalog if I was rich. Forget accordions. I wanted a toilet. See, Kermit wasn't allowed to go downstairs to use the outhouse because it might strain his heart. So my mother put a pot in the corner of his bedroom for him to use. That's where he did his business. Guess whose job it was to empty that pot every day? Me. Everyone at school felt sorry for Kermit. Miss Sugar Apple paused by my desk one day. How is your poor brother doing beans? My teacher asked me, her voice dripping with sympathy. I shrugged. Her voice lowered. Is he going to live? Unfortunately, I said. Kermit was bored from being in bed all day. So the minute I got home from school, he started, started hollering at me. Beans, beans, come upstairs. Go on and keep him company, my mother would say. Do I have to? I begged. But she just looked at me. He's your brother. He almost died. You should be happy to spend some time with him. I groaned. Besides, I have to run some errands. I'll take Buddy with me. I'll be back in a little bit. But I knew my mother was lying. She was sick of Kermit, too. When I got to Kermit's room, he was sitting up in his bed. He'd lost some weight and still looked a little pale. But his mouth worked just fine. What'd you do in school today, Beans? How's the fellas? Did you see that it rained right after lunchtime? Want to play some cards? The questions poured from Kermit's mouth in a rush. It almost made me wish I was back at school, which was saying something considering the day I'd been having. Miss Sugar Apple had handed back our arithmetic test. I got a bad mark on mine. I don't even want to say how bad. If you practice more, you'll do better, she told me. I've been practicing arithmetic since I'd stepped onto that school and I've never got any better at it. Besides, I wasn't the only one who was bad at arithmetic. President Roosevelt wasn't much of a whiz seeing how the country was still in a depression. Termites started barking like mad, and I looked out the window, worried that dog catchers were coming. But it was the postman. Call off your hound, Beans, he hollered. I got a letter for your ma. Termite, I shouted, quit. The dog crawled under the porch. That dog of yours is a menace, the postman grumbled as he handed me a letter. His, he's just all bark, honest, I told him. But he just frowned and walked away. I looked at the letter and I recognized that slant in handwriting. It was from Poppy. I opened it and I read it quickly. Dear Minnie, how is Kermit doing? I know you said the worst had passed and I shouldn't rush back home, but I feel terrible. If things change, I can always borrow money from my sister and get back. I met with a man from the factory again, but he said I'd have to wait and see when he was hiring. I wish I had better news, but I don't. Hope all is well in Conch Town. I miss you and the boys more than you know. Love, your curry husband. Well, I might not be good at arithmetic, but I knew that Pappy not getting work, plus it's not coming home, would equal my mother being very upset. Better for her to wait and read that news later. 
you know, good news is better than bad news. So I went to the outhouse and I did my duty. Instead of using the Sears and Roebuck catalog, I used that letter. Paper was paper after all. It was sort of a little scratchy on my hiney though. Oh my goodness. What he won't do, right? So that was chapter 15 and chapter 16. Shoes. See you later. Hope you all have a wonderful Easter.